The only way to not get a concussion is to not hit your head on anything, ever. Dr. Leah Kincannon works with kids who have suffered concussions and their families. If anyone see the potential ugly side effects of concussion, it's her. But still, she thinks that the question of letting a kid play sports or not is a little out of proportion. There's more to it, and parents should know that. Um, I do think it's a little bit overblown. I'll tell you, though, if my kid wanted to box, I wouldn't let them. If they wanted to do MMA, I wouldn't let them. If they wanted to do football, I would say, you come from really short parents, so it's not going to be a good sport <laughs> for you. Um, and I would think about it, but not just because of concussions, basically because I just don't like football. Um, you know, and so you have to think about where are they going to get the best benefit. Um, and I went to a small private high school. We didn't have a football team. I grew up with three sisters. You know, obviously none of us played football. Um, but the, the athletes who do, the way they talk about football is so much different than the way they talk about any other sport. That camaraderie and that sense of family that they feel is very intense for them. Um, and, you know, certainly you can find that in other sports, but people don't talk about it the same way. And so I don't know if it's really different. And do you take that away from your kid? Do you take away that opportunity to really bond with people and to feel like you're a part of something greater because you're worried about something that may or may not happen to them? I don't know. I don't know if you do or not. And I think you have to, you know, I'm not going to say that one parent's decision is wrong versus right. Um, I think you, because you have to be able to live with what you've decided. But I would say concussions are a definite risk in football. It has the highest rate, you know, of the sports. Um, there's a lot of other injuries they can get to, um, and there's a lot of benefits that they can get out of it. There's a lot that is unknown about concussions, I would say. Um, so kind of what are actually the long-term risks of multiple concussions? We don't have all the answers um, in terms of, you know, does it have an increased risk of depression or cognitive impairment as you get older? Maybe, but maybe not. You know, does it depend on the actual number of concussions or does it depend on the number of uh, what they call subconcussive blows? We don't know. But I think if you're talking about a young athlete who wants to get into sport, the benefits of sport are going to far outweigh the potential negatives of concussions. We know that sports not only is good for your physical health, but it's good for your mental health um, to be a part of a, um, you know, a part of a team and to work towards a goal and to have a community around you that's supporting you. I think all of that is more beneficial than to make a decision to hold a kid out from sports just because you're afraid of what's going to happen. Now, in an individual who's already had multiple concussions, perhaps then that decision tree changes for those parents because now the theoretical risk looks more practical um, and so then I think they have to think of different things and you have to but again you have come to the same discussion what do we actually know about the long-term risk with multiple concussions and what do we not know and there's a lot more unknown than known